up everybody? Just want to show some of the new stuff in this update. Songbringers beta has been updated and there's a lot of new stuff. There's so much new stuff that I wanted to do a video about all the new stuff. This is one of the new things here. This enemy covering this door here is called the Verlock and it works differently. The mechanics of this enemy work differently than any other enemy so far. You have to kill all these little spiders for it to reveal its eye right here. And there's a time limit. If I don't kill it, if I don't kill all the spiders within a certain amount of time, the eye will close. Or the eye will never open, basically. So basically, you have to, you have to kill all the little spiders and then kill the eye as well. Um, these verlocks cover these doors for an important reason because this is where the key item for the dungeon is going to be. And this is a new scheme, a new setup where basically there's a downstairs level, there's an extra Z level, if you will, um, to each one of the dungeons. So yeah, you go downstairs and this is where you find the key item for the dungeon. The key item is one where you'll have to use this item to get out of the dungeon at some point, or actually to get further and deeper into the dungeon. So. In this instance, you're getting the, the bombs in level one, and the bombs are going to be needed to, to use, you're going to need to use those bombs um, to get through the dungeon. Um, so this is kind of making the game a little more Zelda-y, a little more puzzly. Um, but that's not complete yet, That the whole, there's nothing that will block me at this point yet, but there's, this is kind of setting things up for later. Um, oh, one other significant thing in the new version is this, that you can... You can destroy pillars. See how I'm I'm hurting this pillar here. Eventually if I hit it enough, it will actually turn into nothing and I can walk on top of it. There we go. Walk on top of it. And bombs will hurt them a lot. Set up a bomb here. Oh, that just so happened to be a secret right there. I forgot about that. Yeah, so, um, so that's new. There's a, oh, there's a lot of new algorithms in the game um, that make the, basically all the levels a lot more interesting to, to discover. Um, you can discover, like, uh, rooms with diamond shapes and whatever. There's a lot of different shapes now. Um, and you notice this was something new where an enemy will drop an item. A key item, for example. That was a key item, a biodetector. It was a very important item I needed to find right there that I can use and to uh, reveal where a boss is. So that those enemy, those items can sometimes be inside or drop from an enemy. So that's new. Um, watch this. If I go off screen here, there was an enemy we, we just killed right there. That that goat-headed dropped guy, and there was also a a tooth on the ground. If I go back here. Jib is going to recognize that he hasn't scanned that. He goes and scans him. And also, the tooth is still on the ground. So that's new in the game, too. That it remembers items, and it also remembers un, um, enemies that have not been scanned yet by Jib. So, yeah, man, there's so many other things. There's there's uh, new items where you can carry more diamonds. So you can see that right now I have 271 diamonds in this, this current play. And that means that's because I have one of the new, new items that carries diamonds. This is the uh, the sack, the diamond sack, allows you to carry more diamonds. Uh, there's two more new kinds of enemies. There's three more new kinds of enemies. There's a there's an enemy that's kind of acts like a mine. So the closer you get to it, the more it wants to come at you and explode. Um, there are there's a new enemy called the in, what are, was that guy called? Um, there's another enemy, basically, it looks like brains. There's also an enemy on the overworld that is like a shark, and it sits inside water and spits out these poison bubbles. Um, there you can see that intel guy. This is like the mine. See how they come They come at me and explode when they get near. Oh, there you go. There's a new, there's a new item as well, the shield. I forgot. The shield basically absorbs damage as long as you're still. So if I'm fighting enemies, if I'm running at enemies and stuff, I'll get hurt. But if I'm standing still, that shield will absorb some damage. So I have the first level of the courage shield. So there's three different 
courage shields you can find throughout the world, which will get stronger and stronger, um, basically absorbing more and more damage. There's also three different levels to the sacks, so you can carry more, more and more diamonds. Um, I think that's about it for most of the the, the new stuff in the, the game. So for other, if you want to check out even more of the new stuff, just check out the change log or check out the, the announcement on Steam. So that's it for everybody. Hope you enjoy this new version.